Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to fix this up. Like, switch around the hot bars, hotkeys and stuff. Cause, uh, it's definitely interesting. <clears throat> Anyways. That's neat. I think I wanna keep it. Um, I think there was like a, 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 a an unfortunate side to with Beastmaster. Like, don't get me wrong. I really like having animal companions. I think they nerfed having animal companions a little bit. Okay, uh, choose a bee that, mm, bees that is no longer than a medium and that has a rating. Okay, add your proficiency bonus to beasts AC, attack rolls, and damage rolls, as well as to any any saving throws and skills it is proficient in. Hit point maximum equals to the hit point number in its stat block or four times your ranger level, whichever is higher. Uh, like any creature, it can spend it hit dice during a short rest to regain hit points, okay? If the beast obeys your commands as best it can, it takes its turn on your initiative. On your turn, you can verbally command the beast where uh, where to move. No action required. Nice. You can use your action to verbally command it to take the attack, dash, disengage, or help action. Once you have extra attack feature, you can make one weapon attack yourself when you... Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Yes, I have the DMB book right beside me and I love it already. <laughs> Interesting. And anything at all, I could actually just have my companion. Oh God, now that I have the animal companion, I could probably go like a few, a couple, uh, a few levels in Rogue. And so that way my animal companion could go right up to an enemy. Instant threat. Oh god. <laughs> this is nuts. I'm gonna keep it. I'm keeping it. Animal companion. Blindness, hold person, prayer of healing, and silence. Subclass features, mirror image, pass without a trace. Those are always nice. Inflicts aid, lesser restoration. Go ahead and customize this a little bit. Uh, guiding bolt, always nice. Healing word. I like healing word. Healing words a bonus action, and this is a normal action. What do you inflict wounds? Uh, let's do that. What do you bless? Uh, that not. Oh, shield of faith. Oh. Uh, surrounded creature with shimmering. Oh wait, shield of faith won't work on somebody with a shield. So the person I was thinking both about it going on is sell but no that's right that's right a uh, prayer of healing all allied creatures you can see each regain 2d8 plus 2 hit points oh that's a level 2 Well, okay, whole person blindness, which is nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that and add you. There's also aid. Huh, interesting. I love Bane and I love Bless. We'll go ahead and set that up. Um, and accept. 
You're up. All right, so... Darkness, blur. Ooh, blur? Concentration required doesn't affect creatures that don't work. What's the 10 beside it? Uh, each duplicate increases your armor class by three. Whenever you successfully evade an attack, one of the illusions disappear. Oh, invisibility. Oh, that's that's nice. Minus one. Transmutation. I definitely want to get rid of that. I like, I like Scorching Ray. Uh, I gave you Evocation, right? Yeah, I think I gave you Evocation as your, uh, school. So, with that being the case, what is this? False Life? Okay. Creatures. Okay, your body becomes blurred. Attackers have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. Uh, I don't want to talk like that. False life, disengage, visibility. Uh, find familiar. I guess we could get a familiar. Oh man. Oh man. Uh you know what? You kinda need dark vision, so done. Go ahead and customize. Uh mage uh cloud of fog helped a little bit. Witch bolt okay. Call forth a beam of crackling purple energy deals one d six Okay, sleep not very useful. I I love Greece. I love Greece. Expeditious retreat. Turn dash into a bonus action. Okay. Uh, Scorching Ray. Yes. Uh, for level one. like this the armor increases by three okay um except yay and you're up okay uh arcane trickster no your your intelligence is not high enough for that Okay, uh, these use their skills in stealth and larceny, larceny to acquire whatever they wish, uh, whether from a third-story window or the depths of a long forgotten ruins. Fast hands, get an additional bonus action. Okay, secondary, second story work. You master the art of fa uh, falling and gain resistance to falling damage. All right. All right, we're set. Let's go, guys. Oh. What is this? A uh, shaft of a uh, shaft of a broken spear. The man is dead, but something shifts beneath his features. A glistening tadpole emerges, 
slithering up past a sightless eyeball. The same as the creature behind your eye. Reach out to crush it. One squeeze should do it. But you stop short. How could you think of harming something so beautiful, so pure? Now resist those feelings. This is a parasite. Yeah, there we go. The tadpole plops to the ground. Now is your chance to stomp it into the dirt. But it's too precious, too sweet, isn't it? Concentrate and destroy it in one swift movement. That 20. <laughs> you raise your heel and crush the parasite into the ground. Intense regret washes over you, churning your stomach. Damn. All right. Apparently there's uh, owl bears. Oh my God. We should probably rest. I don't want to rest. I'm going to keep going. Oh. I think it's in here. Albert tracks. Its nest must be nearby. Ah. Well, hold on. Did, uh... Oh, right. Running water. There's an owlbear owl bear nest in here, isn't there? Stench. Dead owlbear prey, no doubt. I want to see this owlbear. There it is. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. Why are you way back there? Oh God. I think I must have missed a check here. Failed a religion check? Twenty five percent chance to a strike. Oh, God. Oh.
Oh. Nami? Wait, wait, what? What? Oh. Oh, okay, that's... Uh, I'm guessing that's level two. Okay. Uh, that's just an action. Uh... Wheat. So with that being the case. Ha. How could you miss that? How do you miss an 88% chance? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh dear. Okay, you have two spell slots. Okay, so can only be cast outside of combat. Oh, rude. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, then. Take you. you already attack? Okay, you. Right. Bear buddy. Natural 20, nice. Okay, and Asteria. You have a bonus action on you? Uh, you do so boom. bring that up though. I don't think it's really gonna matter What is this <laughs> Okay, well Okay, conditions. Distress. To its eye, it cannot make critical hits and has disadvantage on perception checks. Oh, okay. Intriguing. Glacius. Naving throw. Ah, oh, rude. He's at one HP. Oh, we are. This is a. This is definitely a. This is a fight. This is definitely a fight. Uh. Oh boy. Uh, go for it. It. it Another nat 20. Oh, nat 20 on him. Oh. Yeah. Hey, it's Haley. How's it going? Forgot about, forgot about Boulder's Gate 3 dropped? Yep. The early access has dropped. Oh, God. Okay, so. Um, you have a bonus action yet? Yes. Drink this. Okay, you are running low on spells there, buddy. You have an action? Oh, you do have an action. Oh, oh, this takes a dance. Oh, bollocks. 
Oh. It's interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You still have you still have both your action and your bonus action. Come on over here. Ooh, uh, that's lucky. How can you miss that? How can you miss two? <laughs> 8% chances in a row! <laughs> oh, that's rude. Okay, girl. Um, You are running low on HP. Whoop. There's that. Uh... Oh, you have no more level two. Okay, so yeah, boom. Take you. Cannot attack. Okay, well, that's it for you. You have a bonus action left. What can you do? You're not hurt very much. What is this basic poison? Oh. Turning out great. Whoop. Natural 20. Sweet. I like it. Oh, God. You need to, uh... How much you have 16 HP left? Oh god. Fair bro. Only a 30% chance. You missed. Okay. Ah, oh, bear bro, you are almost down. You! Oh god, uh mage armor yourself. Maybe. Well, you're at 20 HP, so you know what? Good. Boom. Invalid target. What? What? Oh. Still only 59%. Oh, got him. And he slipped. Prone! Okay, you're up then. You do 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 do. Use that for a sneak attack. Ah, uh, oh well. Oh wait, could I have done two of those? Oh, I oh I could have killed him there. Oh rude. Who still needs to go? Uh no, no, no. Oh god. God, he just keeps going down. And she goes down. Oh, this is rude. Uh. Uh. Not fair, bro. Damn, missed. Can't help, so. Oh. Takes an action.
Yep, hell of a run. Okay. She still has a bonus action, so go ahead and heal yourself. Uh, but she's a five only. Oh god. Alright, fine. We'll go with you. Now boom. The cub looks from you to his dead mother. A single strike will end his suffering. Oh, let the creature live. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. What? That, or we've just prolonged its misery. to your presence the cub continues to gorge himself on his dead mother oh head of a broken spear oh my god guys we did we we killed the owlbear Cub returns to the final boss. <laughs> Probably. I picked up an egg. Eat? No. Owlbear hatchlings are tiny and adorable for the first few weeks of their life. Then they eat you out of the out of house and home. Then they simply eat you. I'm gonna keep a hold of this egg. I'm not gonna eat this egg. No. Maybe it'll hatch for me. Oblivious to your presence. Oh. Worth $750 unless it. I'm. Tr <laughs> Wait, what? That's a good amount of money. Oh, we're gonna hold on to it. Ugh. And this is gonna be one of those times where uh, we need a rest. I think it's time we take a long rest because. Wow. Wait. We're out of spells. Right? Yeah, she's out of spells. He's got one spell slot left. Yeah, we need to rest. Where's the rest button? Go to camp and end the day. All right, I'm gonna make a hard save for this because I don't know how this is gonna work. Here we go. Would you like to end the day? Yes. This is the first time camping. This seems as good a place as any to make camp. I'll take it. Neat trick. Not a trick, my friend. Magic. Be that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of? First and foremost, that damn tadpole. Spot on. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, Hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? Day four, excruciating pain as the skeleton and organs reform and reposition. Day five, the host personality has disappeared. Fingers and toes and limbs elongate. I take it you get the picture? I do, but he might as well finish the picture. 
Day six, the flesh around the mouth splits to make way for tentacles. Day seven, a mind flayer is born. This is the annotated version, of course. Oh, and we should be having uh, fever by now. Gray skin, even. Spot on again. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain oh, clear, right. and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree this is abnormal. Right. Because uh, at the beginning of the game, we actually ran into a, a area where a person was instantly transformed into... A mind flare. So much means probably these are special kind of tad tadpoles. Huh. Long live abnormal. Long live the abnormal. I'll toast to that. The pragmatic in me, however, sees only the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Ah, oh, it's my bear. Oh, wow. So this is camp. 